Advanced Fitness and Wellness Specialist, Kimberly Liu, and welcome to my Workout Wednesdays. Today we're going to be going over hip strengthening exercises. What happens is a lot of times when we go and we work legs out in the gym, we go, we burn it out, we do it, and somehow two weeks later, maybe a month, we tend to get injured or we tend to get burnt out. We go straight for the big exercises, but we don't warm up. And these little activator muscles, these little stabilizers, they're weak, they're not turned on. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that these stabilizer muscles are turned on so that we can make sure that when you're doing your leg workouts, you are nice and solid. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to strengthen the particular hip girdle muscles so that we can sustain our leg workouts, sustain all of our workouts, and enjoy it and enjoy the process. Let's get started. All right, so one of the first exercises that we're gonna do is a simple old clam. So you're gonna lay on your side. Take your hand, put it, your head in it. Now check it out, my knees are not here, okay? If I'm here and I open up, that's okay, but I wanna take this and make sure that there is a straight line. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna create, it's gonna make it harder for me to lift my leg. That's exactly what I want. I also wanna make sure that I roll my hips forward just a little bit and then all I'm gonna do is just take my knee and open it up. Now, if you can see down by my feet, my feet are still touching. All I'm going to do is just take this knee and open it up. I'm gonna do about 12 to 15 on each side, and then I'm gonna move to the next exercise. Up and down, up and down, for 15, 12 to 15, depending on what you wanna do. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little band. I'm just gonna put this around my ankles, boop, boop, boop. And I'm gonna come down, <laughs> and I'm just gonna lift that leg. What that's doing is it's activating that glued meat. Now, a lot of times it's like, well, what's my glued meat? Just remember, it's just working out those glutes, and it's activating that backside, so that when you go lift weights, you can actually lift more. <laughs> okay, so check it out. You're just gonna do 12 reps. And this gets pretty tiring, believe it or not. It's actually a very, very challenging exercise to do, but it's something that will absolutely strengthen that hip girdle. Ooh, mama. Okay, now you're gonna do the other side. Take it, let's go in the clam. I like that name, Clam. <laughs> Ready, up and down, up and down. Good, you're just gonna do 12. Make sure that you're nice in a straight line. And you do it for 12 to 15. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the other side. Just up and down, make sure your knees are touching, they're together, all you're doing is lifting your heel. And it's getting, again, that glute med, which is the middle part of your booty. You're just gonna do 12 to 15, and be done. Beautiful. Next exercise. Okay, next exercise is we're just gonna do a regular old glute bridge. Now, for some of you, you can just get away with bringing your hips up to the sky. Now, oftentimes, let me tell you something. This particular IT band takes over everything. So a lot of times it'll pull the knees out. So that's why we need to work our inner thighs and our glutes to help stabilize that leg. Because what happens is, is this IT band pulls this patella, this knee out. So I wanna make sure when I'm doing my glute bridges that I take either a yoga block or a weighted ball or something to grip. You see how that's working my inner thighs? Because I have to engage my inner thighs in order to hold this ball. Now when I come up, I am bringing my butt up. It's engaging the glutes and the inner thighs. This is a beautiful, beautiful exercise to do before a leg workout or just in general. Now what happens though is oftentimes when we come up into this particular position, this hamstring starts to cramp. So if you wanna prevent cramping, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your feet and bring them and put them on a block. So when we put them on a block, it takes the cramping 
out of that hamstring and then you just come up and down and up and down. It actually engages more of the muscles as well so it's more of a stabilizer exercise. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful exercise. Keep going for 12 to 15. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Wonderful. Next exercise. Okay, next exercise is just a band walk. Super simple, you just put a band around your ankles. Make sure that your feet are parallel, your chest is up, your chin is parallel to the floor, and I always just bring my hands up. They call it supinated. I always say I'm holding soup. So, I'm just gonna take my legs and just take a step out. Now, I'm not taking my whole hip out, right? It's just a walk, I'm just bringing it out. What that does is it creates a girdle around these hip flexors. So you're gonna go back and forth. Basically 12 each way, if you have the space. I'm in a limited space here, so I wanna make sure that you kinda of get the idea. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk forward for 12 and I'm gonna walk backwards. Now, if you can take a look at my feet, I'm not putting my leg out because that quad wants to take over. So I'm almost walking pigeon-toed. I wanna come out and tap. It's like a dance. And out and tap, and out and tap, and out and tap. Making sure that my legs are in alignment with the rest of my body. Beautiful. Excellent. You're gonna do 12 forward and 12 back. So to remind you, 12 one way, 12 the other, 12 on each side walking forward, and 12 walking backwards. Okay, last and final exercise. It's just a regular old bird dog. I love this particular exercise. It stabilizes every muscle in your body. Love it, love it, love it. You're gonna take your leg out. You're gonna bring your hand out. Preferably not with a box in front of it. So you're gonna come up and down, up and down. Now check it out. My wrist is directly underneath my shoulder. My knee is directly right underneath, if you can see it here, right underneath that hip. It's in a 90 degree angle. So you wanna make sure that you have everything stable so that when you bring the arms up and down and your leg up and down, that you're nice and solid. Up and down. So you're gonna do each side for 12. Ready? And just give me three more. Two and one. Now one thing that I wanna tell you is keep that leg nice and straight and activated because when you bring it in, it's almost like you allow it to rest. And you definitely don't wanna allow it to rest. You wanna engage the whole entire time as you come up and down, especially with your arm as well. So switch, switch your leg, switch your arm, and then just come up, tuck that chin. Oftentimes too, people take that chin and they look up. Don't do that, that's gonna hurt your neck. So you're gonna come into an alignment with that neck and do the other side. Beautiful. And you're just gonna do 12 to 15, however many you want to. It's a really good exercise, I'm telling you right now. One of my favorites. And all these look pretty simple, but they're kind of challenging. Three, two, one, beautiful. And that is a wonderful, beautiful, well-rounded hip stabilizer exercise so that when you go into the gym and you work your legs, now you're gonna be able to lift more weight. Now you're warmed up. Now you're gonna soar. I'm Kimberly Liu, and if this video helped you out in any way, please press like and subscribe. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. We're gonna work it out together. Also, let me know what kind of exercises that you love to do, or if you have any type of ailments in your body, write them down, we'll create a video to help you out. I love ya. Well, you know what the good thing is? You get to have a lot of outtakes for the end of the video. <laughs> no, I have balls. <laughs> Huh? Oh, it's getting weird. 
Now, oftentimes, we tend to start workouts, we just go straight for the gusto. So, 